I'm just gonna dress the big blue thing in the yeah. room. How come there's no festive scents in the advent calendars? And is it something that you're gonna consider in future years? So have you decided what's going in the calendars for next year? and welcome back to my channel. So this is super exclusive and very important to us Advent Addicts because I have Emma here from the body shop. She heads up in the gift department and you talk about gifts all year long, don't you? We do indeed. That yeah. would be my heaven. So I'm very grateful to be here. As you guys know, I've already unboxed all three of the body shop advent calendars. Links them all down below, but watch this video before you watch those because we have some, well, it's like spill the tea, really, isn't it? Yes. Inside <laughs> or inside. <laughs> yeah, everything. So, we have the advent calendars, we have gifts in front of us, and we've also got this monster next to us. I know you guys are probably all freaking out at home because I want to know more about this. But before we do that, I want to talk about advents and what yes. we've got here so far. Yes. Right, okay. Oh. So first of all, how long has it taken you come up with these advent calendars? Um, about 18 months. 18 months? So a long time in the making, but Christmas is one of our most important times of the year and advent calendars are one of the first products that our customers engage with, so you really want to ensure that they're super special yeah. and really excite our customers for what's to come across Christmas. Well, they certainly excite all of us every <laughs> single year. Um, you have three here. Yeah. Traditionally, there's three every year for the body shop. Yeah. So do you have a customer in mind when you put together each one? Yes, we do try and differentiate them and ensure that there's something for everyone across Advent. Um, so starting with the Advent calendar, yeah. um, so our entry price point, um, this is very much built around um, like trial of lots oh, of our miniature products. I love these um, little guys. <laughs> So there's lots of different formats and scents in this one to explore. Um, as I said, it's mainly miniatures that you'd find in here and lots of bath and body. Um, so think shower gels and bath bombs, but we have tried to include lots of new skincare products in here also, so you get that cross category. Um, but then when you trade up to our higher price point, so yeah. on the big advent calendar, this really starts to have full bath and body and skincare yes, routines. Yes, definitely. Um, and you're getting full size products in this one as well. And then with the ultimate, which is... Love it, by the way, the ultimate. It's incredible yes, it this year. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it is really exciting. Um, and that's mainly all full size products. So again, that's really full routines of skincare, bath and body, yeah. hair care in there, and lots of complementing accessories as well. I definitely say this one's a really great one if you want to try out things from the body shop because they're smaller products, yeah. all different yeah. scents in here. I mean, I find that for me, shower gel is the way yeah. to try out scents from the body shop. And I really think they've nailed it. Well, you yes. have nailed it with this one. <laughs> and I've really okay. thoroughly enjoyed these two. Now, the bit of feedback I've had mm -hmm. is that there's no makeup this year. Yes. What's the reasoning behind that? Really because we feel that makeup is so like unique to the individual. Yeah. We want them to be able to come into store and pick what they want from a makeup perspective. Um, so in Advent, obviously we didn't really want to be able to just yeah. pick out specific products to suit everyone. So we have actually avoided it for that reason okay. across Advent, because um, it's really unique to the individual. I agree. And I think a lot of people have noticed that this year, they've actually enjoy the skincare aspect of it and also the touch of hair as yeah, well so yeah, really. i think that's something that you guys have really enjoyed as well another burning question that yeah. i've had from the guys out there yeah um how come there's no festive scents in the advent calendars and is it something that you're going to consider in future years um, it's something that we'll definitely try and look at going <laughs> forward. One of the main reasons is actually just down to timing. So the time it takes to perfect our seasonal scents yes. and obviously wanting to launch our advents as soon as possible. We do just have that 
Um, it's a bit difficult to be able to include them, to be honest, but it's definitely something we're looking at going forward. Great. Because um, we do appreciate that everyone is eagerly after the seasonal scent. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, and they are perfect for the advent countdown as well. But though we do have lots of entry price point formats that you can trial throughout the advent countdown anyway. But we are going to go into the brand new scents that the Body Shop had this year, so make sure you are stick to the end. But we're going to stick to Advents right now. Your Advent calendars, they sell out so quickly, don't yes, they? So quickly. How fast did they sell out last year? Um, well, we have been known to create Advent mania, as we say. Yes. Um, and everyone's always super excited for them. There's so much anticipation. Last year, we did actually sell just over a quarter of a million advents. And based on how long we were retailing wow. them for, it was equivalent to one every 30 seconds. So yeah, pretty wow. amazing. So we do advise our customers to get their hands on them as soon as possible. Um, yes. But yes, very speedy sellout time. So wow, so if you guys want to get your hands on one, links are going to be down in the description. I highly advise that you get your advent as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to address the big blue thing in the yeah. room because this has been a myth on social media. So I've had so many DMs, people asking me, is there a fourth calendar? Yeah. Is it a myth? <laughs> is it going to happen? But it's right here, so it it's is. happening, right? It is happening. So this is our new this year. It's our Share the Love, Joy and Kindness yes. exclusive advent. And as you can see, it really is quite oh. large. Um, so this is wow. going to be in limited volume and it's for our key advent markets. So in UK and Northern Europe. Um, so as I said, limited volume. So wow. only a lucky few are going to get their hands on it. Wow. Um, but no, it's super special. Um, in UK RRP, it's worth over 500 pounds, the contents Whoa. inside. Um, so there's full routines and regimes each day. So actually in each of the internal boxes, you're getting multiple products. So no. We really love multiple products <laughs> yes. per day on this channel. Oh my goodness. It's breathtaking. I'd say it's probably double the size of the yes. biggest one, yeah. the ultimate. So this is quite something. Will this be available online to purchase or do you have to go in store to get this one? This one is just going to be an in-store exclusive. Right. So you have to go in, yeah. grab your calendars. Oh, yes. there's going to be queues. <laughs> there's going to be great queues for this little beauty. I'm sure they will. There will be. Not little beauty. <laughs> <laughs> little big beauty right here. So you're saying there's multiple products per yes. door. So does that mean for the final day? Is there... um, yes, well, there's special treats throughout. On the final day, we think we've picked a perfect routine to just have that final pamper on Christmas. Um, I'll not reveal what it is unless you no. want to open it. Oh, well, I'm going to keep that a secret because I know that you guys don't like spoilers. So I'm going to wait to unbox that one. So scent is massive at the body shop every yeah. single year. Can you talk about the new scents that you have for Christmas this yes. year? Yes. So yeah, with our seasonal scents each year, we really want something that's going to delight our customer's yes. senses and bring back joy. Um, and we really have in the past had both new and nostalgic scents, but yeah. this year we wanted to bring back some of our most loved seasonal favorites. So we're relaunching um, Love and Plums. So oh we, my gosh. Yes, it was super nice. So warm, um, rich, fruity scent. Do you know what? I think two years ago in the feedback when I did this video, they said, oh, let's bring back Love and Plums. We've yes. got the plum scent. No, it smells amazing. Oh, it definitely guys. gives you Christmas vibes. Oh, it really <laughs> does. It's quite like fruity, but like with a Christmas edge, yes, right? Exactly. Mm, so what else have you got as well? And then we also have Joy and Jasmine, oh. which is more of a fresh, light floral. Yes. And then also Kindness and Pears. Which was Juicy so, Pear previously. Yes. So again, that nice, sweet, fruity, vibrant scent. So no, we've got lots of beautiful scents, something for everyone really in the it's seasonal gorgeous. assortment. The packaging this year is quite interesting. Everything seems to be plastic free, recyclable, especially with the advent calendars as well. Yes. Super reusable, right? So yes. you can use this. I'm personally going to use it for my skincare storage, my bath and body storage, and even makeup. Yes, would go. Love that. This is a yeah. great reusable calendar, I feel as well. And also the packaging is, it's just fantastic. Yes, 
Oh, that's great to hear. No, we did definitely design everything with reusability in mind. So everything we wanted to be reused or repurposed or at the very least recycled. Advent specifically was a big change for us. So with yes. the new construction, um, as you said, it was built to be repurposed. So we were, in, yeah. we were hoping people would use it to store their beauty products, um, to store their Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah. There's so much. Oh, oh, Christmas baubles I had exactly. was a good one. Yeah, Someone exactly. said all your baubles would fit in so beautifully. Yeah. And the artwork as well. We're just going to like talk about the packaging itself. I mean, the artwork is just breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you. No, it does, it does look amazing. It's definitely really eye-catching this year. Um, so with our whole Christmas theme this year, we wanted to share the love and spread the joy um, and celebrate selfless actions and acts of kindness. And our Advents are actually inspired by selfless individuals who care oh. for others all year round. So they're who you can see across the design. Um, and obviously you find those people within this multicultural British town. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what you're seeing in terms of across all of the Advent design designs, it's depicting our multicultural British town yeah. with our diverse collective spreading joy and kindness. On the exclusive specifically, um, this is depicting London. So you thought, oh. what better multicultural town yes. than London? So you can see lots of London landmarks on there, such as the Shard, Big Ben, yeah. St. Paul's. Um, and obviously we have that beautiful gold foiling on the exclusives as well to make it feel extra special. Well, it is quite something. I think yeah. this is probably, so far, one of the best looking advent cans I've seen in a very oh, long time. And I love the fact it's reus reusable. You can put your stuff in there. Well, most importantly, it needs to home all your products that you're going to get yes, as well. Exactly. So at least you can, uh, you can do that. Personally, for me, one of my favorite things about the packaging this year is that there's absolutely no plastic. And I think that's incredible. It's yes. very forward thinking. And it's always great to be kind on the environment. So exactly. you're giving to the environment as well. Yes, no, exactly. So across just our advent calendars, we've removed moved our last plastic component wow. and that's actually saved us 29 tonnes of plastic. Um, so it's actually the equivalent of something like 119,000 Christmas baubles in terms of weight of plastic that we saved um, with our sustainable advent construction. Wow. Um, so no, real step on our sustainability journey for sure. Yay to the body shop, I think that's incredible. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely amazing. So talking about giving, um, yeah. this year, um, well, every year the Body Shop likes to support a charitable cause. Mm -hmm. This year you are helping the Honeypot Children's yes. Charity. Yes. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes. So, as you said, charity is always super important to us, um, and this year is no different. So, we've partnered with the Honeypot Children's Charity and Family Carers Ireland yeah. um, to support young carers in both the UK and the Republic of Ireland um, to help them build brighter futures. Um, and happy childhood memories um, because we know for many young carers who are looking after sick um, relatives or parents um, their childhood can often be put on the back burner yeah. um, so really really want to support them and um, celebrate their selflessness um, yeah. so the body shop's going to be donating 150,000 wow. pounds um, to fund a range of respite breaks and also online after all clubs um, and wellness services to really ensure that they can build those brighter futures for themselves. Brilliant. And I guess considering what the difficulties we've all experienced over the last 18 months, two years, yeah. I mean, it's more present right now. And I think, exactly. you know, if you're a carer, especially a young carer, you just kind of forget about yourself. And yes. I think it's really important. I think it's great Completely. that you, I think it's great timing to support this charity and I yeah. think it's brilliant. Oh, so if you guys you. want to get more information on that charity, I'll leave the link down below. So as you are the queen of gifts, <laughs> you are, you are literally the queen Thank of gifts you. in my eyes. Um, how do you think we can all gift differently this year? And I mean, I know with the body shop, you, um, you know, you've really focused on the sustainability, but how can yes. people at home change the way they gift? Um, I would just say gifting that um, has a positive impact on people and the planet. So yes. I think one of the key ways to do that would be gifting CFT, so community fair trade. Um, so not only then bringing that joy to the one you're gifting to, but also our community fair trade partners. Yeah. Um, so really empowering communities around the world. Um, I think CFT is a lovely way to do that. 
and equally g gifting sustainably. Yes. So really being conscious of gifts which can be reused, repurposed, recycled. So we know Christmas is a time that generates so much waste. Yes. So really trying to be conscious of that within your gifting. But also gifting something that's super personal that you know that oh, the recipient will love. I definitely um, agree with you there. Absolutely. Yeah. So what's your favourite gift? I mean, I've already... I've already spotted my favourite gift. Can I show you the favourite gift <laughs> yes, on the table? Go for it. Look how cute this is. <laughs> it genuinely looks like I've just popped down to the shop to go and grab like a bag of something. I don't know. It's very, I don't know. I just love the whole like, it's a good sturdy bag. Sturdy bag, <laughs> yeah. And it's definitely reusable as well. I can definitely see myself maybe going to the shops, maybe get some veg, put it in there. But this is a gorgeous set. Oh, yes. No, that is a really good seller for us. So this is actually a Shea Ultimate oh, gift. Lovely. Um, so it has our full collection of Shea products in there. So lots of nice little treats. And then this is wipeable paper. So really, again, a bag to be reused. Definitely. So what's your favorite? Um, my favorite is actually the gift of joy. So this oh. gift here, uh, which one is, is one of our like key gifts this Christmas, actually. Okay. Um, so talking of CFT, this gift, everything in it, including the chest itself, is community fair trade. Oh, brilliant. Um, so the, the chest itself was um, created by Get Paper Industry, yep. um, which is our community fair trade partner in Nepal. Um, so it tells the personal story on the back of the creator of the chest um, and then all the products inside there. So we have shea and mango products. Oh my God, I love mango. So they're both again enriched with CFT ingredients. Yes. And we also have a new accessory in this gift Ooh. as well, which is a duped shower scrubber. Also community fair trade. That's something I really liked about in the other calendar you've put in the... Um, the, so it was plastic shower lily. Now it's the yes, um, sustainable, sustainable one. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. So you've done the same for the gifts you've popped yes. in. Yes. So this, well, this is um, it's hand woven from jute. Wow. Um, so again, like I said, from a community fair trade partner. So they're Procra team, Bangladesh. Um, but yes, it's completely natural, and um, that's something that we're really trying to achieve across accessories at a total company-wide level, is to right. make them as sustainable as possible um, and use community fair trade where we can as Excellent. well. Excellent. Now, this is another burning question, probably the, the final burning question. Yes. Um, can you give us any teasers for next year, especially <laughs> on the advent calendars? What can we expect, and also from the gifts? I don't want to reveal too oh, much. Don't reveal too <laughs> much. Just give, me, just give me something. Um, I think all I can say about next year is that it's going to be another um, immersive and exciting Christmas Ooh. campaign that's going to be really aligned with our brand values yep. of creating a fair and more beautiful world and also really aligned to our activism campaign as well, which Great. will be announced in early 2022. Brilliant. Um, and again, just lots of new gifts and advents, ensuring that they're as sustainable as possible. So we'll have lots of vegan treats, community fair trade. Um, and again, just making a super special Christmas program. Brilliant. So have you decided what's going in the calendars for next year? Yes, we you have. have. Yes. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to leave that to you guys. What do you want to see in next year's Advent calendars? Please drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear your suggestions, your yes. thoughts. I mean, we have the queen of gifts here. So <laughs> you guys, drop those comments down below. I mean... You're going to be reading all these questions, aren't you? Yes, <laughs> yeah, we will, for sure. Well, there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so much Perfect. for joining me this year. Thank you and for having me. No, that's fine. Like, the behind the scenes, I find it so interesting. Well, we, we all find it more interesting. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see what you guys bring out for next year. Perfect. But yeah, I think you've done oh, a splendid job this year. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> if you guys want to check out all of the unboxings for the Body Shop Advent Calendars, link down below. I shall be in unboxing this beauty very soon i cannot wait to show you guys um, so make sure you're subscribed and turned on the notification so you don't miss that video but as always guys just make sure that you link like and subscribe and i'll see you next time for another video Thank bye you. bye